Okay, we're going to go ahead and call this meeting to order. Roll call. <coughs> Mr. Hennis. Here. Mrs. Dozal. Here. Mr. Wright. Here. Mr. Lopez. Present. Ms. Hep Ms. Cotton. <laughs> Here. Okay. Item 1B. If you'll please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance and then remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. of the board and ladies and gentlemen of the community. Tonight it is my honor to recognize Frank Jelani Sotelo Valenzuela as student Rotary Student of the Month. <laughs> Frank is here with his parents tonight, Flor Valenzuela and Francisco Hugo Sotelo. Thank you. Grande Pre uh, Robotics Club. He's a member of National Honor Society. He's a member of SAC, which is a student activities organization on campus comprised of presidents of all of our clubs and captains of all of our sports. And they kind of run our um, run a lot of things that go on along with um, another group, Student Council. He also is recently first place winner of Sunrise Oratorical Contest. So you can just get a speech anytime. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good. That'll come in handy. Um, some of his personal activities that he enjoys and accomplishments include even more robotics, um, music, video game development, and he is a Latino outdoors volunteer. His uh, life and career goals include uh, he wants to graduate from ASU with a major in digital culture with a focus in art in order to become a freelance artist and independent game developer. Um, students and, um, who are Rotary Student of the Month are selected by the teachers at each of the schools and Frank has Oh, excuse me, has shown outstanding leadership. So at this time, I'm proud to present this to you. Congratulations. Student of the Month. 
I'd like to invite up Brianna Eager. Yeah, <laughs> So now we get to do a little bragging on her. She's here with her parents. We'd like to recognize them, Kim Eager and CJ Diaz. Recognize the theme as we go through this. She is all about service. I mean, that's kind of what she's dedicated for. In fact, her ambition, her goal is to, and I'm going to read because I'm going to mess this up, but um, when we asked about her life goal, she says to make a difference in the world, and, and I think she means this, and people's lives through volunteer work, public service, and one day a career that leads to public service in the government. And she's going to do that by enlisting the military and serving her country and moving forward with that. Um, in addition, she is quite the leader. She is our senior class president, has been our junior class vice president, is a member of our, one of our service organizations, Key Club, where she's participated in a service such as the Fall Mile Cleanup, Blood Drive, Freshman Booze, Festivals, Money Boxes, recently Rachel's Challenge. She um, participates with FCCLA, Girl State, and is on her way with the Superintendent Service Challenge. Um, some of her personal activities include 4-H historian, uh, vice president for 4-H. Um, she's a nursery coordinator at her church. Uh, she does various volunteer duties, um, such as volunteering at Trinity Lutheran Church, hospice family care, essential health and medicine, Veterans Memorial Foundation, Riot of the, the Warriors, um, helps at wedding events, that would be cool. Um, monthly cleaning for friends and family. I want to become one of those friends. Um, <laughs> office work and many booths during the parade. So it is with great pride that we would like to present for you on the here. town tonight and has asked me to present our CT students, both of which are coming from Union. So I'd like to uh, first bring up uh, Renee Chaffee. Renee, if you'll come on up. So, so Renee is our December CT student of the month. Um, she was nominated by our engineering teacher, Mr. John Morse, who's also with us today, who stated Renee is a diamond in the rough. I don't even know about that, it's just a diamond. Okay. She possesses all of the qualities needed to become a strong leader and a great engineer. She's a project manager for Project Flower Child, a project that combines our engineering and biotechnology classes to design, build, and test a hybrid airship. That sounds fun. To conduct high-altitude scientific research. As a project manager, manager, Renee oversees operations, communications, engineering, finance, science, and legal departments. Um, once Flower Child is ready to take flight, Renee will also fill the role of flight director. In class, she has um, his complete confidence. She's someone other students know they can rely on for her knowledge and guidance. And I believe your grandmother, Mrs. Stewart, is also with us this evening. So thank you for coming. Merlin DeSosa, she's with us tonight. <laughs> so Merlin was also nominated by uh, one of our bioscience teachers who's with us tonight, um, Mr. Noel Kay at Castle Grand Union High School. Mr. Kay stated, Merlin is a positive, encouraging person who sees the good in everything no matter what the situation. She is an encouraging person who always pushes her peers to do the best they can on the tasks at hand. So not only does she do it for herself, but she likes to lead other people. Um, she's at, uh, involved in academics and clubs, is an officer of Arizona HOSA um, at Cass Grand Union High School chapter. She shows commitment as she consistently advocates in every presentation and conference. She keeps herself busy, um, and not only with this group, but completing academic requirements and applying critical thinking skills in every lab she always has an excellent attitude that her peers admire. I don't think I've ever caught her without a smile. <laughs> and I believe your parents are with us as well. Um, Moses and I'm probably going to say this wrong. I'm going to try. Evelina? Yes. The Sosa are here with us as well. And thank you for sharing more one with us. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, 
item 3B, Employee of the Month presentation. I think there's a few people here for that. So they would like that. And I'm going to ask Mary Ann Hammerson to, to come forward and help me as always. So, um, President Hopkins, members of the Governing Board, it is always our pleasure to recognize our Employees of the Month. So, um, we will put that to you. Right here. Okay. Our first uh, employee of the month is Andrea Turan. David Rea. Jared Walther. Advisor President Luncheon for motivation and roundtable with discussion. So congratulations to them on, on that, that training. Uh, congratulations to the uh, Caspian Union's Angel Flores, who was named the Fox Sports Scholar Athlete of the Week. He's, he's a first team all conference quarterback who has a 3.902 GPA. Um, so he was recognized uh, you know, by that quite an honor. Uh, congratulations to the Vista Grande Vanguard for their, their final performance of the year. Uh, they did that about a week or so ago. They did a tribute to 10 years of Vista Grande in their, in their, in their church. Mm -hmm. so kind of a neat thing. Um, congratulations to the Kensington Union Fine Arts Department for their production of the Snow Queen. If you didn't have a chance to see it, they did an outstanding the job. Um, congratulations to the uh, Kensington Union R JROTC drill team who competed at the Hamilton High School and won trophies of, in, uh, in the following events. First place, unarmed regulation. Second place, unarmed exhibition. Um, four person, unarmed exhibition and varsity color guard. And third place in the armed regulation and overall. Um, congratulations to both the Casa Grande Union and Vista Grande for their Cabot CTE showcases. Both of them um, had showcases and, and where they, they showcase everything that's going on for sophomores. Um, and both, both groups did an outstanding job. Um, on November 21st, several Vista Grande juniors and seniors had the opportunity to tour the U of A campus. So thank you to U of A for making that happen. And a lot of kids got to go down and see what that was like. Um, congratulations again to the, the um, Kessman Union Marine Corps um, JROTC drill team. At Buena High School, they, had, they finished first in the unarmed exhibition, armed exhibition, armed four-person exhibition, varsity color guard, Challenge color guard, drill down, and overall they were first place. And then second in the armed inspection, third in the unarmed inspection, and unarmed four-person exhibition. So great, uh, great showing for them. And on November 25th, I had the opportunity 
to hang out with Kathy, at Kathy Grand Union with Mayor McFarland and watch Mr. Farnsworth FFA students processing turkeys to feed families. Yeah. And uh, I, I, you know, I probably didn't publicize this enough just to give you a little background. This is the second year. Um, and if you haven't had an opportunity, you'll have to, I'll have to remind you all to come next year. But what was really neat about this event is for this all to happen, uh, a lot of collaboration between CTE, construction, I mean, the culinary, construction, and the FFA. The, the, the shed that they use for processing also is their walk-in cooler, was built by the construction kids, the electrical, the plumbing, it was a big whole thing, and then they processed turkeys, um, they put that process, and then of the 40 turkeys, they raised them, they, then they processed them, and of the 40 turkeys that were processed, about 20 of them went to feed needy families, and then culinary gets involved there, and um, made pies and the whole other baskets, so families got a full Thanksgiving dinner. And then the other 20 birds, they sell for, uh, they sell for, you know, as a fundraiser so they could do it all again. They also now are, are raising game hens. So if you want a fresh game hen, they'll be coming down the road. So um, anyway, so it was a great, uh, great turnout. Um, the mayor's always, uh, you know, you know, wanted to go see some things, so I took them out to, to, to see that. So. To see turkey in the process. <laughs> yes. Um, hey. <laughs> it was, it was it, we had some great conversation with kids that day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then last week, uh, the Vista Garden Key Club helped stock the shelves at the Caspian uh, Food Bank, so way to go Spartans, we were going out. And also, we were very proud to announce that the Caspian Union and Vista Grande Technology Service Centers now have wireless hotspots available for check out to students with no internet in their home. <coughs> so thank you to our technology department, thank you for everybody who made that happen. So. Um, we're able to now be able to help kids who don't have internet at home so they can get on a spot and, and still use their devices at home. And now, um, as we wrapped up fall sports and are now beginning winter sports, I'd like to just cap, um, recap our fall sports at both campuses. I'll start with, uh, with Cats Grand Union. Uh, in football, in the Kino region, um, uh, obviously, I'm sorry, this is Vista Grande. In, the, in football, in the, in the Kino region, uh, junior Christopher Hernandez made second team all region wide receiver. Um, they had uh, three other student, uh, three other players who were also named um, to honorable mention. Uh, in girls volleyball, they had uh, they had um, five uh, players mentioned in the all, all uh, honorable mention for their Keno region. And in boys and girls cross country, uh, senior um, Bern uh, McQuillan finished fourth overall out of 178 runners. Um, she had a, she had a great year. Um, and um, I think Brianna's average time for cross country season places are in the top ten amongst all level Division One through um, Division uh, Division Five. So um, you know that's pretty exciting. And then um, the girls cross country team finished 13 out of 70, and the boys cross country team tw finished 23rd out of 70. Then at Casa Grande Union, um, uh, we had to talk about the band. Uh, band, I, I've announced several times all of their winnings throughout the year, but they finished second place overall in the in the AZMBA Grand Championships in 3A4 today, and they also won the award for outstanding percussion. So again, it's always a pleasure to see. And then football, as you know, for the for the first time in, in quite some time, uh, the football team made um, made it all the way to the quarterfinals and, and lost a very tough game in the quarterfinals. Um, and then they have um, several players who were named first team. Um, uh, Jorge Aguilar uh, was the first team uh, defensive lineman. Um, Hyman uh, was, a, was a kick returner. Uh, RJ Keaton uh, was a punter. Angel Flores is the quarterback. And Daryl Penn as the tight end. So uh, again, all of them were named for the first team. And then they have two second teams. Santos um, Cornejo uh, was an offensive lineman. And Jacob Thomas was a linebacker. So, and then they had um, about 15 uh, players also mentioned in the honorable mention. So, um, so very successful. And then finally, in cheer, uh, the coach, um, Spirit Line competition team uh, went to the AIA on November 1st, and they placed in the top eight, which qualified them for uh, their state championship. So this Saturday, the seventh, uh, they'll be they'll be competing um, uh, at the Arizona State University football stadium. So um, it, it's, it, it's they're going to be competing in the game day category, which is the first time they've done that. So, congratulations to all of our athletes and at both of our schools for all of their success. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of good stuff. We appreciate it. We didn't know about it otherwise. Commander's reserve for board action. Um, number A or letter A.
request for a proposal insurance move to approve um, for insurance benefits as presented for 2020. And I'll second. And discussion. This is an annual RFP, is that what that is that's going on right now? Yes. Yeah. Any changes? Any changes in the RFP? I can't hear. Any changes in the changes. RFP for the insurance? No, it's uh, typical. There's a couple that we have a, um, what we call a rate, uh, no increase for uh, some of our ancillaries, but we're, we're going to go ahead and read that up anyway just to make sure. Okay. That's all. Mr. Hennis? Yes. Mrs. Dozal? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. Mr. Lopez? Yes. And Ms. Hawkins? Yes. B, board meeting, uh, move to approve the change to the January board meeting to Tuesday, January 14th due to the winter break. I go move. Same thing. Discussion? Mr. Hennis? Uh, yes. Mrs. Dozal? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. Mr. Lopez? Yes. Ms. Hawkins? Yes. C, donations, move to accept the following donations. $200 from Betty Carlton to Asprand Wrestling Club, $20 from Charlene Lewis, and $150 from Dennis Gore to the Asprand Swimming Club, $200 from Robert Warner to the Asprand Wrestling, uh, 2020 20, 20, 20, 24 foot Mirage box trailer from Asprand Band Boosters to the Asprand Band. Very All of these all of these stipends are as we as we move from um, with with marching and all that we move from the actual marching season into the winter season, and so a lot of, a lot of those are, are are people who are going to now continue to move into another season um, of working with those groups. Okay, and as they're moving forward. essentially all of those everything associated there is with the band. Spirit line. Yeah. No, those are all, yeah, all those band. Are all band. That's all band with the catch. All band. Okay. So, because they're moving from their marching season now into their winter season. Right. So, for the Vista Grand, Grand the out of state uh, travel baseball team, mm -hmm. um, it, it's person traveling, it 
it, it lists the coach, but it doesn't specifically list the players, and I'm assuming the players are going on that. Yes. <clears throat> the request doesn't list the players, but, uh, you know. They probably don't know the team yet. Um, they may not, as I said, they may have not know exactly who they're taking yet. Because I'm not, you know, because we're again we're out of season, so this is okay. this is a tournament that we're going to go compete. Um, they do have to provide us the names of who's going to go before they go. Can we have that revised, or can we? Doesn't it usually at least say in team? Yeah. And so this time I'm looking at that. It says Vista Grandy baseball team head coach Harley Gray, assistant coach, and all this, but it doesn't say anything about the players. I'm looking at this. This is cold. No, she they're they're opening night of basketball, so she will have to go for opening night. Yeah, usually it says like anti yeah. players. Yeah, it usually says mm -hmm. how many you're playing. Mm -hmm. So I apologize. Well, actually, yeah, it says baseball tournament, but it just yeah. The, the, the attachment, the attachments don't have it. No. And the team is in the Well, we will certainly we will certainly get the team. Get the team. <laughs> get the team. Um. I don't remember if they participated in this I last year or not. I've seen this one before. They, they've gone over to California probably four years in a row now. Okay. And they go over there about in, during the season, but they probably didn't name the names of the players because tryouts are the first week of February. Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're just getting approval well ahead of time. They don't even have their team. Uh, they don't have a team yet. So we will have team, and we will have the names before okay. they're allowed to go out of state. Yeah. It's just an oversight, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, well, no, because. It, it's they're just asking for approval now. If you look, they're not going until the end of January. Yeah. They could have so. they could have maybe missed a comma and it should have maybe said the Vista Grande baseball team, team. comma oh, head sure. coach comma oh, blah blah yeah. blah. Yeah. That's probably what happened. Yeah. Okay. Because obviously it's a tournament, so they're not going to yeah. need the team. I figured the team was going. <laughs> yeah. No, they're going. <laughs> okay. Anything else? <laughs> Okay, Mr. Hennis? Yes. Mr. Dozal? Yes. Mr. Wright? Yes. Mr. Lopez? Yes. And Ms. Hawkins? Yes. Okay, and then we go all the way down to item number nine, board items for our future agenda. Does anybody have anything they want to present? Have presented? Yes. 